Hi, in this video, we are going to learn about data structure and algorithm and why we need that in programming. So obviously I have started my slide as what is DSA in programming. So let's learn about this concept. First, what is DSA and secondly, why we need DSA. Now in this video, if you are a beginner, we are not going to discuss the various algorithms we have. We'll make a separate video on that. This is a very simple conceptual video where we are going to learn about DSA. So let's get started. So first of all, we have a question with us. What is DSA? So DSA actually stands for data structure and algorithm. And the, the, again, I'm not sure how to spell algorithm right now. Fine. Now, what is data structure? Data structure is the way to store data and organize data. Obviously, it's very simple. It's the way with which we are going to organize or store our data. This is very important. Then algorithm means step by steps, means steps taken to make a decision. Now, here is something which might be tricky for you. First, we are talking about storing the data. Then we are talking about algorithm, which is actually helping us make a decision. So the simple scenario here is we have this particular room. Now it has this amount of spaces like it. Let's say it has four cubicles. Now we want to store something. So obviously we will start here, then here, then here, then here. Now, once all the four cubicles are done, we will say we don't have any more way of storing the data. But how we are deciding that we are going to store this data in this fashion, like first cube, second cube, third cube, fourth cube, that is going to be algorithm. Another example of an algorithm is your Instagram feed. How do you see someone like one photo or maybe your Instagram reel on your page? I mean, in front of you. Why is that? That is because there are few algorithms which are deciding that. And a hint of an algorithm, I would say, it would say like if you have liked Instagram reels from this uh, like pr previous reels, maybe if you follow, maybe you follow the hashtag again, I'm just making an assumption. Okay. I'm making an assumption. Maybe you're following the hashtag or maybe you have commented or maybe someone has tagged you. This is an assumption. Like let's say if these events happen, the algorithm is going to show you an Instagram reel. So this is what algorithm means. It simply means steps taken to make a decision. Okay. Let's move forward. Now, here is a map I have given to you and it's a fictitious map. Obviously it does not exist in real life. So what we want to do, we are standing here right now. This is our point where we are standing right now. And we want to reach this point, which is marked as X. Now, obviously do let me know what are the certain paths with which we can actually move from one place to another. And let me actually change the color here. So I'll use one yellow color. So one path I can see is obviously like this. So that's one path I have. Again, I'll use few examples. I'm not going to use every single example. And actually the color is not going to help me. Okay, I can use white. So I have this another path. And I'll take one more example. I'll use a blackish color. Now here I will come here, 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 here and here. Now, obviously it sounds a very vague example, but you can understand one thing, what we want to optimize. We want to optimize that the route which we are going to choose, it can be one, it can be two, it can be three. What I believe the route with color white is the shortest route. So what we are going to do, we're going to choose route number two because it is the shortest route. So we are optimizing. We are optimizing our path so that we can reach faster or use less amount of resources. So keep this example in mind. We have three path. We are using the shortest path because we want to optimize it, optimize the journey if I talk about. So we use first less resources. Secondly, save time. Now let's move forward. Now the question is, why do we need DSA? So use that previous example. We need to provide efficient way to find 
or solve a problem so the previous problem for us was to reach out from point zero to x in the shortest path so that we use less resources maybe we are using horse maybe we are using petrol maybe we are, we are using gas and save time for us so that is why we need dsa now i have another example with you with which you will be able to understand why do we need dsa at all so consider you're working at a company like facebook maybe meta if i may google microsoft and you have a huge amount of data stored now you're starting from scratch right now you have a very small amount of data so you have a question find x now obviously you can do a very simple thing this is not x this is not x this is x so within third step you found the value of x and you said okay this is the right way of doing it so obviously we found the x now we have a second statement now here you can see we have x here the string is a bit bigger but you can see we found our x now we have this string now can you find x here take a pause note down the time how much time it is taking you to actually find x now if you were able to find it find the x that is great right now since i designed it it is a bit difficult for me but i can find one x here and that's quite amazing even i'm not able to design uh, find x right now but yes i found a solution i actually have it with me so you can see one x is here one x is here one x is here now let's go back to the question why we need dsa we need to provide efficient way to find or solve a problem so if we have huge amount of database what is the fastest way where we are going to use less resources we are going to save time and we are going to find that value so an uh, example could be your friends at meta your friends at instagram so let's say if you're trying to search someone if you're use if you're using it to find something on google what is the fastest way because obviously data is stored in first in first out kind of a fashion so like data is stored this is the first second third fourth fifth again i'm not going for a literal example i'm going for a simple example so you have this huge chunk of data you had to find x so this is how you find it now what is the efficient way of finding x is going to be our data structure and algorithm with which we are going to tell the computer hey if we need to find the value of x this is the fastest way take this way because we know that if we are going to take this route we are going to find the shortest path where we are going to use less resource and less time so in short when we talk about data structure and algorithm data structure is a way of storing data an algorithm i would say it's a way or i would say set of steps used to find something or solve a problem so in short this is what dsa is so now obviously we have not discussed about uh, the various algorithms we have we will use them or maybe we will learn about them in a separate video so with this thank you for watching and if you have any suggestion or any question or maybe any suggestion for the topic of next video put them in the comment below thank you